Hey there, my name is Nabiar. Some people call me Ray, my partner in thrift. Her name is Emily. Some people call her Zesty. And we love to go to thrift stores, especially the Goodwill bins. We are outside of ours here in beautiful downtown St. Louis. And we're gonna dive into it today. If you guys are into that sort of stuff, you need to stick around and watch this episode. Hit that sub button if you like the content. We'd really appreciate it, guys. Let's hop into the bins. We're going straight for media. Let's see if the GM distracts us away from that, though. Starting off with uh, Bricks and Dunn on, the, on CD, which should be okay. Also the thing, widescreen, we're gonna check that out. But sealed saw shank, that'll be good for sure. GameCube strikes again, guys. Is it in there? Yeah, let's go. It's a little SpongeBob action, all right. Anything electronic Bible related or religious related, I tend to pick it up. I don't know if everything's in there. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to check this out a little better, but yeah, I mean, I have to say that if it's all in there, this should be pretty good. Why did nobody tell me that Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston were in a movie together? This is also sealed, so <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm for it. I'm for it. This is definitely interesting. I have yet to find Rocky Horror Special Edition, especially on VHS, so that's cool. Also a little Blair Witch, so I'm loving those two VHS for sure. Anything firearm related, guys. Um, I, I mean, this has like a really nice cover on it. It's got like this cool silhouette thing on the, on the yeah, I don't know, from 74. It's got like a bunch of artistic stuff in it. We're definitely gonna take this and look at it. This is really interesting. Um, if anything, I might give this to uh, a friend or something. And somebody left behind screen. Let's go, all right. All right, let's see if we can find some more. This is where I found those couple of horror VHS. Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, we're gonna take screen though. We just sold Creep Show, I believe, in the booth, I wanna say. Either way, this is the uh, hits version, but it should still sell just because Creep Show just has such a good uh, a good cover on it. You know, people just like for VHS, even for just the art. I remember the Phoenix Saga being such a prominent uh, thing in my childhood, so I'm definitely taking this for the collection. This, I mean, the cover is so good on this, I love it. Works and done is always uh, slapping for sure. We're gonna check this out. Last media item we're putting in is Jag season one. I, for some reason, I have it in my brain that Jag actually carries some value. I'm probably way off on this, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna scan it. We won't know until we scan it. So I wanted to make this a media focused video. Uh, we're gonna lightly peruse the GM though, just because we're already here. There's no point in not doing it. It's probably been mostly picked over, but we could find a few gems uh, in the meantime. Found a securing and these water reservoirs can actually sell. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. I think this is the smaller model. But either way, it looks pretty clean. It looks like everything's intact. So I think we should be okay on that. This Tyco Jet Bandit car looks really interesting. It looks like an older Tyco. Uh, and that's the only reason I'm taking it is because of the brand name. I mean, obviously it would need some cleaning, but if, uh, if there's some comps on it, I'm willing to sell it. Same spot, just found us some Instax mini film by Fujifilm. Uh, these are typically expensive. So yeah, these should be, I would wanna say at least a $10 bill for this little pack. This hockey helmet has an older certification on it right there, but I think that's only by the league that it's played in. Um, this Easton one does look like it's relatively on the newer side, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Uh, I'll definitely look up some comps, but I'm pretty sure this will go well at played against sports. I mean, this is probably a pound and a half, two pounds. So yeah, I think we should get some good bucks out of this. There is a ton more hockey gear, a couple 
uh, a couple of bins down, but it is all older stuff. You can just tell that that's just an older style helmet, older style gloves that are torched. But there is a ton of it in here. There's even like an older shin guard right there. This uh, this was the only thing I considered was this chest protector, but it even seems like it's older. They probably won't take it at plate again. Yeah, there's another one older. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, here's even a pair of pants right here. You can just tell that these have seen better days for sure. Also, RC stuff. I've been seeing a ton of it. There must have been a collection that got donated, but this actually has a box. It is pretty gone right here, but I'm willing to just give it a shot and see. Like, I'm just curious for future endeavors if, if stuff like this, because I mean, this is very, very much obviously from like maybe the late 80s, early 90s, maybe in the mid 90s, um, you know, to see if, if I find this stuff in the future, if it's worth grabbing. Homework time, guys. Okay, so on the Nico Piranha, um, there were no exact comms sold, but for Nico stuff, there was like one for 60. There was another one for 30 on bid, 115. This is Red Cat, so that doesn't count. There was like a combo for 18. There was one for 30. One for There was a couple for 66. Uh, there was one for 102, one for 41. This, this buggy is very similar, but yeah, I don't... I'm not gonna take a shot on it, I don't think. It, it's very, very dirty in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it back. I mean, somebody will probably take a shot on it though, I feel like. Okay, different story on our little Tyco Jet Bandit. I have it turned upside down because I was checking the battery tray. It is clean, which is a great sign. Um, but there was a lot of three that went for best offer at 100. Uh, best offer accepted on a single one without a remote, so that's good. So I have to think that it probably went for 35 or 40. And then another one that went with the remote for 65 or 13. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot on it, guys. It's super light, clean battery tray. I mean, I guess I might take a little bit of time to clean it up, but I think it's great. I think it's great. I, I like it. Also, I should say that there are very few listed, so the actual technical sell-through rate is pretty good on them. Been really into selling these TV boxes lately, and this Direct TV uh, box is still right along the same path that we want to be in, uh, right around a 50% sell-through. Had 36 listed, and... 36 listed and 17 sold. And some of these did sell, I think, with the remote. So, I mean, still they're selling without the remote for 29 free shipping. They'll, it'll, they'll, they'll go first class easily. So yeah, feel pretty good. We got the power cable somewhere down there, so. Viewer of the channel, shout out to Eric, hooked it up with the Charmander plush because it was just a little too dirty for them to, uh, to clean. But I think it's vintage because of the eyes. The eyes definitely look vintage for sure. Um, the the tag got cut off unfortunately, but it'll it'll definitely go. Oh what? And and the Pikachu? Okay, thank you, Eric. Appreciate you. We'll uh, we'll definitely try to get these cleaned up for sure. So as far as this helmet goes, it's a retro spec. It's got the tag on it still, which is good. So we can still sell this as brand new, but there was a bunch of different styles. I think this is for either biking or skating, um, but a lot were around there, tw around 20 bucks with around 10 in shipping, pretty light. So even if we sell it for like 15 with shipping, we'll still do pretty well on it. Okay, so the American Rifleman is actually a series of magazines. So I'm assuming that they're all from 74. Uh, but I did find the exact comp right here. Womp womp, 15 bucks with seven bucks in shipping. That is just not worth my time. I hope somebody loves this thing. Um, but yeah, back into the bins, this thing goes. I mean, it's really neat, but eh, not gonna deal it for 15 bucks. Guys, I'm telling you, don't, don't sleep on the Bible stuff. Okay, so I have not looked this up, I promise. We're, we're gonna look this up together. So four listed four list or yeah four listed sorry i thought i counted five for a second all right let's just see womp, womp, womp. none sold wow none sold and they were all listed like crazy too like above 40 dollars that's wild okay i completely ate pro on this guys but hold on let me see what this is richard simmons sealed maybe this is interesting anyway but i found blue man group and i'm not gonna eat crow on this one this one's sealed so i'm 
I'm saying this is probably, I'm going at least a $10 bill. Okay, almost didn't eat pro. 10.95 free, 10 free, 9 free, 9.34 free. Okay, okay, so after fees and shipping, we'll make like five to six bucks on this, but I'm taking this as a W, guys. I ate crow hard on that on that Bible, but you know what, I'm taking it. Easy, easy to list, easy to ship, just easy money. Apparently there's just an insane amount of Shawshank sealed VHS for sale. Uh, there was like 130 sold, or 130 listed and only 19 sold, and the sold ones are below 10 bucks. So yeah. That's really unfortunate. I still think that I'm going to take the bodyguard for fun. I think, it, I, I don't know. I just feel like somebody's going to buy this at some point. But uh, unfortunately, the Shawshank is going back. How many times am I going to eat crow today? I actually did look up the comms. The sell-through rate wasn't there for the bodyguard either. So bye, Kevin, and bye, Whitney. All right, guys, we really slimmed down the haul today. We got really good VHS, uh, one DVD, one game, two really great plush from a viewer two really decent helmets got the uh, tv set box set box thing right there and the good bread and butter uh again some good bread and butter in the instax mini film we have a broncos hat that needs a little bit of cleaning but otherwise like this is this thing's in really good shape um it is a fitted but it is new era so i'll go ahead and take it uh really nothing on the sweatband which is beautiful our little reservoir tank we found a nerf uh, mag as well we just lock those together as usual but yeah the tank itself will probably get us 15 20 bucks or so and then uh, also our question mark of the day is the jet bandit will it get us 30 to 50 bucks we'll see we'll see a little cleaning but uh not too bad all righty guys we're keeping the halls cheap lately 1304 really really happy with that amount today i think uh just you know even the spongebob alone is about a 16 dollars game i threw up the comp earlier um this is going to cover the entire haul for this round and i say this round because we are coming back for round two stay tuned guys back for round two uh, if you're new to the channel our bins here in st louis do two rotations they do one from 10 a.m to i think it's 1 p.m and then they close for two hours and then they do another rotation at 3 p.m to 6 p.m i think it's two threes if i remember correctly at least for the the winter schedule i believe that they should be going back to their spring summer schedule here soon where they do three rotations a day instead of two that's always really fun because there's more chances to find good stuff um the bins today have been busy i already see a pretty good line it's about quarter till um i have to imagine that's just because everyone's doing their spring cleaning and people know there's a ton of donations being put out right now um so with that being said, we're gonna go get in line here and see what we can find. I think we're gonna do media again and see if we can't stay away from the GM as well. I feel like maybe a little bit, uh, there, there was a little bit of, of want to go to the GM just because we didn't do crazy in the media this morning. So we'll see how it goes. If we, if we super duper score in the media, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it at that. I didn't even know that there was a Stuart Little. Oh no, no game. And guys, it is looking like a big old strikeout for games on this rotation. All I found was that Stuart Little. Oh, 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 dang, dude. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Thought that was going to be the only one today. Anything? Even a loose game. <laughs> Even a loose game today. Dang. Yeah, I think we're I think we're going to the GM, guys. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I have been really shying away from games lately, but this thing just looks cool. So at very minimum, we're gonna do some research and see what it's looking like. All right, I've been getting absolutely skunked, but this little Sony CD player, this might be a saving grace for at least maybe 15 bucks. We'll see. All right, nothing crazy, but this could be decent at least, a Kindle. It doesn't look like, hmm. 
Interesting, interesting. Okay, we'll check it out. Just found the cover for it too. It was laying up back there. So that worked out pretty good. Oh, uh, what is this? Root touch up. I think people sell this stuff. I don't know if this is Bureau or not, but we'll definitely check it out. Clear all. Y'all already know. I'm gonna pick this up. Y'all already know. Little Sunbeam controller. I will take it. Even if it makes me only 10 bucks, it's better than zero bucks because that's how the majority of this run has been going. So, eh, this might be for a Keurig. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and look this up as well. Hey, Keurig, uh, what, we found one earlier. So, we got double, uh, double up on that. There's no way somebody leaves an iPod in here. Uh, yep. Okay. They already took it. I thought that was the whole box. <laughs> they got me on that one for sure. What is this? Shower gel. Right. Don't need it. What is this? A digital microscope? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm down to look it up. Oh man, this, this Salem hat, the corduroy Salem, the uh, they do make these in vintage, but I think they repro them as well. The uh, whiteness of this inner part right here makes me think it's not vintage, but I'm still gonna give it a go. My dad actually has one exactly like this, but it's really dirty. This one's actually pretty clean condition, so even if it doesn't, uh, even if it's not true vintage, someone will, uh, someone will want this. So these are napkin rings, Fifth Avenue Crystal napkin rings they're in there and 50 bucks was the original price i'm i'm curious i'm curious I, this is probably gimmicky from like back in the early 2000s or 90s but why not okay found a belkin router a logitech keyboard a cruella that i gotta look up uh just some odds and ends this is basically gonna be a lot of homework today uh which i'm not mad at i'm not mad at but uh let's just keep it going let's try try to remain positive because i was definitely down the dumps for the first half of this I should get this and uh, have a trophy shop replace this guy with a picker. What what is what does the the trophy of a picker look like? What what are they holding up as like a prize? You know, because obviously you got a baseball bat, you know, at, for a baseball player. But this thing would be sick for like a picking trophy. It's a challenge you did. All right, it's shaping up, boys and gals and non-binaries. Look at this pair of beats. Pair of beats. Let's go. They look nice too. Okay, the beats, the beats are what made it. The beats are what made it for sure. So yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and start our homework. And uh, I think we have a pretty good idea of what we got here. Um, we did pick this up off camera, I believe this little ninja. I, I don't remember what part of the ninja uh, line this is for, but we'll find out via Google Lens. A uh, little personal item, but yeah. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. The beats definitely made me happier. Right before I was about to dive into a uh, homework, a viewer came up and said that they were uh, a fan and that was awesome. I really appreciate when people do that. Uh, it always makes us feel good. And uh, yeah, so let's focus in on, oh yeah, I also found this PC game. Not really, you know, I've never heard of it, so I'm not too, uh, too keen on it, but we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, my super sick uh, crystal uh, napkin rings <laughs> really did not show up any. There was one listing, none sold, but Fifth Avenue Crystal does sell. So a little bit of a bolo on that. You know, I didn't think Crystal was still in, you know, but uh, the more you know. I just randomly grabbed this, and now that I'm looking up comps on it, I think that I found the entire speaker system and then only took this controller episodes ago. Some of you more OG subscribers may remember, but again, uh, pretty pretty decent amount of sold comps on this 22. I think there was like, I can't remember how many there was listed. I think 30 to 50 listed, so pretty good sell through. But we've got 20 free shipping, 25 free shipping, 17 with six. Uh, 16 free, 19 with five. So we'll do pretty okay. Just a little bit of cleaning. That'll be good to go. Heck yeah. A little $20 bill right there, just randomly. Man, this sucks. I, I went ahead and put this side back together thinking like, oh, yep, that's okay. They fold, they're supposed to do that. This side will not do it. You can barely see it, but it's it's a little bit like torched right there. 
on the far end so that side won't go however maybe still selling them for parts is worth it because they're so light i think we'll probably will just sell them for parts just taking a look at the salem vintage salem hat uh, it looks to be vintage anyway but uh just around 20 dollars is where they're selling uh 15 and 5 16 and 5 1953 20 free so yeah I mean, ton of listings, ton of sold. So I think we'll have no problem moving this guy. It does have a little bit of stain right there, but that's that's nothing that scares us. This will this will move easy for you know a net fifteen. All right, so on this Kindle, it looks like it has some like weird damage right here, and then something broke off there. I wonder if that's where it connects to. Yeah, okay, that's where it connects inside there. So that's nothing bad. The charge port on the bottom does look fine. Um, the thing is, I don't have a charger for this, and maybe we just sell it for parts only or something like that, but either way, um, maybe we come across a charger in the future or we just buy one off eBay and see if that works, because I don't think this is gonna be the first, or this isn't gonna be the last Kindle that we come across, rather and 76 listed with 204 sold i think we'll do pretty dang okay on this thing as long as it works i mean but even for parts i mean we sell it for 15 bucks or something like that 20 bucks for parts i think we'll do okay our little sony cd players got a clean battery tray very very good sign uh looks like to be no damage to the laser i mean we won't know until we test it of course but looks to be in pretty solid shape and not too bad there was nine listed nine sold so 100 percent sell through rate 18 with six uh 30 free there was 35 with some other stuff in there 18 with six 25 free 25 free so yeah i mean i think a 20 dollar bill all day long on this thing and and it did come with some earbuds so maybe we'll just clean those up actually those are skull candy so even better uh we'll go ahead and sell those with that should we make it a better easier sell there's of course a bunch of different versions for this weapons and warriors game but it is from 1997 so that's good it is vintage and there's an exact comp that went for one bid at 90 dollars with 16 in shipping I was hoping, guys, I, I was really just hoping that there would be bad comps. We could pack it up and go home and relax. But now, now we have to dig into this. Now we have to dig into this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, nice little top. I like that. Okay, that's not a good sign because we don't want risk. Okay, all right, well, that's all that. That's all risk parts. So that easily solved that for us. Was this even, yeah, that's the risk board. Okay, great, they bamboozled us. <laughs> you know what's funny though, is that somebody may want the box itself. I'm curious. I I'm gonna go back and forth on just dumping all the risk parts out and just selling the box itself. All right, y'all, 100% sell through rate on the Logitech keyboard, 64, I think it was like, yeah, 68 listed, 64 sold. Uh, 25 free, 10 with 8, 10 with 10, uh, just the dongle went for 6 bucks free, uh, 8.99 with 11, 20 with 9, 18 with 3, 23 free, 23 free. So yeah, like I'm thinking it's going to be around 20 to 25 free shipping. Um, this thing is super light, like this is really close to only like a pound. I don't think it'll go first class, but either way, we should still make, a, you know, Oh, also, I meant to say we also have the dongle and a, and a clean battery tray back there, but um, we should be able to get, you know, a net probably $15 bill out of this. Okay, guys, we made it out for, uh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> made it out for $9.86 on that run. But I mean, just for example, like I see one $20 bill, two $20 bill, three twenty dollar bill and four twenty dollar bill and then of course we have some question marks with the kindle i'm not holding my breath on this kindle i mean 
you, you know, you just never know. You just never know. Um, and then again, like we just kind of have some question marks. Like this Ninja thing is probably going to make us, you know, eight to ten bucks net if we're lucky. Sunbeam controller, kind of the same thing, around ten dollars net. Uh, just good bread and butter. I picked up this Corolla Deville. A uh, little figurine. I couldn't find exact comps on it, but I figure we'll throw it in the booth and it'll sell for maybe five to seven bucks. Uh, again, question mark with the beats as well, you know. So, but either way, I mean, we had four $20 items right there, and that should well cover our nine dollar investment if you guys would like to see more content like this especially from the goodwill bins go ahead and hit that sub button for us like the video if you like the video and we'll see you guys later on the next grab